Good, good, good afternoon from the Universal Orlando parking garage. We are walking into Universal Orlando right now to go to Halloween Horror Nights tonight. I can't wait. It's dude, since opening weekend, we haven't been back to Halloween Horror Nights. We've just been like we've been out in California. We went to Halloween Horror Nights out in California. I can't wait to like compare and contrast the two. Can't wait to eat another pizza skull. That that was so delicious. I can't wait for it to happen again. Maybe we'll see if the houses have changed any, if they've updated any sort of the operational things that are happening. We're going in to try to do stay and scream right now. So we're in a little tiny bit of a rush. We just have to get into the park, I think before five and it's like 4.30 right now. So let's do it. Let's head inside. So here we are. We've made it up to the front gates of Universal Studios. And like I said, for stay and scream, you have to be in at five. And what stay and scream is, is because I have an annual pass or if you have a daytime ticket, you can get in early and then just show them your Halloween Horror Nights tickets once they start shutting the park down and you stay in a specific area. And that way you don't have to exit the park and wait in line to get back in because Halloween Horror Nights is a separately ticketed event from the daytime ticket. Or if you'd like to, you can buy a $35 add-on. It's called Scream Early that lets you get in halfway through the day and then you can do some rides for the little bit of time that you're in here and then you corral in a stay and scream area and stay for Halloween Horror Nights. All right, now that we are inside, our first stop is gonna be the Universal Studios store. You know what I'm getting. There it is, Scream Squad shirt. Oh, I love it, amazing. I am a part of the, yeah, everybody's part of the Scream Squad. I'm so glad that they made a shirt that says Scream Squad. Ah, yes, I've missed the props. Also, we're gonna go into the five and 10 or the five and dime because Midnight Syndicate is signing their album here. And you can see there's a little bit about Midnight Syndicate. It says for the past 25 years, the music of Midnight Syndicate has been helping set the atmosphere at Halloween Horror Nights. So basically they've been making the background music for Halloween Horror Nights for the 25 years. So that doesn't happen until six, but they are setting up the tables right now. But I wanted to show you guys the Scarecrow stalk. So this is kind of like a, like a scavenger hunt around Universal Studios and you come over here and you buy one of these and this is a map and you have to go around and find all the different scarecrows in the different locations and it tells you where they are. And it's like I said, it's like a little scavenger hunt, but then because you bought this, you get this little Christmas ornament here. And then each location has a specific Christmas ornament that you can buy as well. This one comes when you buy the map. This is like the winner, like this is the prize for completing the map. And then each location has their own individual Christmas ornament that you can buy. Check these out though. The Geeky Tiki's, they're like horror, like monsters, Universal Monsters Tiki mugs. This one's, is this Wolfman or is this Dracula? It's got an underbite. Yeah, Wolfie, it says at the bottom. And then we've got Dracula. Okay, who's this? Uh, it's a Tiki Tut or the mummy. Frankenstein. And then Gilman, sticking his tongue out. Speaking of Gilman, now you can start to see some signs popping up for stay and scream areas. So you can see some people already quarantined off. All right, so we came this way because we were trying to get to the tribute store before the park closed, but the park is now closed, so we can't go this way at all. But you can see they have this sectioned off area here and these people are waiting for Stay and Scream. They're waiting for Halloween Horror Nights to open. So the Stay and Scream location that we picked is up here at the Today Cafe because we're gonna try to watch the opening ceremonies from over here. We came into Today Cafe for the Stay and Scream area. And look at this. They have the Highgate Cemetery Marble Cake. That looks awesome. It's got little baddies on the top of it. You can see everybody leaving the park right now as they're clearing it out, getting ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Also, you should note that the Today Cafe stand screen does not go into a house directly. It is just so you can see the opening ceremonies. There is no house attached to this stay and scream area, whereas the other ones would dump directly into a house as soon as the event opens, sometimes a few minutes early. And while we were sitting in here waiting, I got this cookies and cream spiderweb puff. Oh, I like it. Very Halloween themed. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. It looks very nice. I had a little teeny tiny bite of it and it tasted delicious. All right, we've got our spot to watch the opening ceremonies and it looks like they have officially cleared out the park. You can see all these yellow shirted security guards. They're the ones that are the ones that were clearing out the park. So now that we see them, we know that all of the day guests are out of the park. Oh, they waving. Well, there he is. 
Running in. Let's get a little bit closer look at Mr. Pumpkin Lord over here. Did he just burp? I like that he has little one-liners that he does. He like burped when he first came out here and he's like, I extend my grabby vines and pull in more Halloween. I like it during the day. Oh, look at him go. They're going so fast. Oh, ah. that was scary. That was like perfect timing too. Look at them. This is amazing. Ooh. 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 So they've started to do the Midnight Syndicate signing. You can see everybody waiting in line in here. And then here is everybody that's doing the signing here at the table, right there. Oh no, he's gonna hurt me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, goodness me. Uh oh. Okay, so just to give you guys a heads up, I'm sorry I didn't do this as we were heading into the scare zones. The very first scare zone that we saw after the Pumpkin Lord was called Graveyard Deadly Unrest with the twins. And then this one was called Scarecrow Cursed Soil, the one that we just got out of with the corn people in it. All right, now we're headed into our first house, Monsters Legends Collide. Ooh, if anybody wants the NFT for, uh, I don't know what they're for, but we're in line. All right, it's still bright out, so we can't see the projection that's happening up here. We are heading into Universal Monsters Legends Collide. All right, so admittedly, I feel like I am probably a little bit biased because Orlando is my home, born and raised, but our Universal Classic Monsters is better than the one at Universal Hollywood. It just is, like our, every scare in this house is kind of nonstop. It feels like everywhere you turn, somebody is jumping out at you. And it feels like a lot of places, there's two people coming at you from each direction. And it's like, the one in Hollywood was a little bit confusing at the end. You're not sure who wins or if it's just kind of all three of them are there. This one, Dracula popped out and he's holding Wolfman's head and he's like, here it is, I win. And so like, I, the one in Hollywood does have a really good transition, like the, the wolf transformation, the Wolfman transformation. But this one was just scare after scare after scare. It was so good. I'm excited to see the weekend again. Cause like I said, we haven't been since opening night. And from what I hear on the internet, there is a new scare in there, a frog hand scare. I don't know, we're gonna head in right now and I'll let you know at the end of it what we thought of it. Here we go, into the weekend. This is how they get you prepared for the horrors that await you with Shrek. We're almost there, almost up to the weekend. Oh man, I'm excited. I really liked this house the last time I came through. Now that it's getting a little bit darker out, as we're exiting the weekend, we can see the projection for Universal Classic Monsters. All right, so we just got done with the weekend and I will say that there are certain moments in houses that really get me. And I think that they kind of like cement the, the house's place in my ranking. And in the weekend that happened on this walkthrough, we're walking through the mirrors, right? As you do when you're in a weekend house. And the song, din, 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 that song comes on and it kind of like drops 
And then all of the lights flash. And then it and I was like, yeah, this is what should have happened in Hollywood. And it didn't. Like when we were in, in Universal Hollywood, we were walking through the mirror maze. They weren't even, they weren't playing the Blinded by the Lights song. They were playing some other song and it was kind of like at a slower part of the song. So it didn't really feel like it fit. But like when you're walking through this one and that Blinded by the Lights happens when you're walking through the maze or through the mirror maze. And then there's a moment in there where all the lights flash and you're kind of disoriented. And then they hit you with a big sting and you're like, yeah. And you're like pumped for it. And also the scare actors were like on level 10 like coming at you from all different angles. There was a new scare that they have added since opening night that I missed, but I'm here with a friend and they said that it was like right behind us that it happened. I guess when you see the frog on stilts, then there's another frog that gets you because you're like, oh my gosh, look at that big tall guy. And then there's another frog that comes from the other side, just a hand comes out and gets you. Ah, like that. All right, I think now it's time to get some food. Excited to get some pizza skulls. I've missed them and I want to try them again. Also. I kind of want to get pizza fries. I'm on like a pizza mission because there are multiple locations around Universal Studios to get pizza fries. But I believe that the pizza fries at Louis are the best pizza fries because they're a little bit different. They add some pizza seasoning onto them, some Italian seasoning, and the sauce is a little bit different. And I don't know why that is. I feel like they should be uniform across the park, but they're not. So we're gonna go over to Louis, get some pizza fries, then head into New York go through the uh, the Sweet Revenge scare zone and also get some pizza skulls. I know, a lot of stuff happening, but I'm very excited for it all because it's food. So if you're ever here and the, the roaming chainsaw guys do a cash change, they all get together, the two groups get together and they form a big circle and they all rev up their chainsaws at the same time. And we just missed that happening. All right, so we've made it into the New York section of the park. And like I said, we're gonna go into Louie's, get some pizza fries. All right, here we go, classic pizza fries. But there are some other things here that they have. Like they just switched away from one that was Reuben fries. Also, they have some like gluten-free and some nut-free dessert options here. It's a Coke freestyle secret menu right there. Oh, there it is, the Reuben fries. I'm not gonna try that tonight because I'm in the mood for pizza fries, but I think I need to come back and try that. Those are my pizza fries. You can already see a difference from Hollywood. Hollywood just had the pepperonis. This seems a little bit smaller maybe than what I got in Hollywood, but we got some seasoning on there. We got some sausages, we got some pepperoni, we got some cheese, and then the very bottom is the sauce. Yes. All right, let's give it a little bite here, a little try. Delicious, a little bit dry but still delicious. It's a staple, not the best food, but it is a staple of Halloween Horror Nights. All right, so we're now headed into Sweet Revenge. We're gonna have a look around and see if we can catch some scares. Ooh, Ooh there's stuff that I haven't seen in here. Oh no, there's somebody's head inside of there. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, we gotta be very quiet. Oh, he's got a hook. He's a pirate. Oh. People are coming around, they're telling me not to eat the candy. Oh no. That kid, the kid just ate that lady. Oh. There's the, it's the Mr. Sweets. Oh. She's very tall. And she seems concerned. I think that the kids would not be able to get her though because she's very tall. Oh, okay, the mayor's up there. I was excited to see this show where the mayor gives Major Sweets the key to the city. Pizza skulls. Yes, that's what we're getting right there. Pepperoni pizza skull. Look at all those skulls. Look at that, it's the perfect pizza skull. All right, so we just finished our pizza skulls and I got to admit, people that are HHN fans will die on the grave that pizza fries are the greatest thing ever. 
I will die on the hill that pizza skulls are the best thing ever. They are better than pizza fries. And I, 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 I'm here to announce that. That's my hot take is that pizza skulls are better than pizza fries. And I'll fight anybody on that. Oh. Oh my, oh, I don't trust these kids. I'm guessing that the word is out on Dead Man's Pier being the best house of the year. 85 minute wait. Also, Chupacabra is a 60 minute wait. But we are headed into Dead Man's Pier Winter's Wake first. As we're waiting in line to go into Dead Man's Pier, this is the, hey, how's it going? Not bad. This is the crowd of people waiting to get in. So we just got done with Dead Man's Pier Winter Wake. It was really good. It's a very beautiful house. There weren't a lot of scares in there, but there was a lot of really neat things to see in the house itself. All the facades, all the characters, everything in there is beautiful. And it's just like a, like a buffet for the eyes. It was wonderful to see all that stuff. Like I said, it's my, it's my favorite house of the year just based on aesthetics alone. All right, I think we're going for one more house and that is Spirits of the Coven. It's a 60 minute wait right now. But we do have Express, so we're going through the Express line. We're actually packing it up for the night, but before we leave, we're gonna head through Horrors of Halloween, which is the scare zone that has the pumpkin lord at the front of it. Pumpkin lord is lighting some farts up, shooting flames out. So the very last house that we went through is Spirits of the Coven. Really enjoyed it, it's a good house, it's a beautiful house. I like that you can follow the storyline very succinctly, like it's easy to follow the storyline in the Spirits of the Coven house. You're going into speakeasy, there's witches in there, they're killing people, turning their blood into spirits, like wine or whatever, like, like liquor, and then doing like a bootlegging operation, shipping it underground using uh, like pigs. They're like sort of putting the bottles in pigs and using butchers and stuff like that too move the potions the witches brew around it is kind of like a little bit on the nose that the name of their their company is witches brew but i can see how people would be like oh there's no such thing as witches and it's like kind of a fun play on words right but yeah it was good it was a very nice house not a lot of scares in there but a fun house to go through so all in all it was a fantastic night had some delicious food we got to see some of the scare zones we got to go into four of the houses it was fun it was a good time. I'm definitely gonna be coming back to go through a few more of the houses before the event closes, but it's good to be back. Like I said, we haven't been back since opening night, and I'm glad to be back tonight, or opening weekend, I should say, and I'm glad to be back tonight. So, I don't know, we will be back. And all in all, it was a fantastic day, and with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.